Hey everyone, today I'll be showing how to add a custom AFK animation as well as custom emotes onto your 3.0 avatar. We'll start with the AFK animation. To begin, open your project. Go to VRC SDK, Examples 3, Animation, Controllers. Click on the animator called VRC underscore Avatar V3 Action Layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Move this duplicate to your Assets folder and if you want to, you can rename it. I'll just rename it to Action. Open it in the Animator tab. Near the bottom you'll find three states, AFK Init, AFK, and Blend Out. Replace the proxy animation in these states with your desired animation like so. Next on your avatar's avatar descriptor, find playable layers and insert your controller into the action layer. Upload your avatar. You should now have your own AFK animation. Press the end key in desktop or take off your headset in VR to enter AFK mode. If you aren't entering AFK mode, make sure you have AFK detection set to on in the config section of the action menu. Now for emotes. Open up the same action layer we just made for our avatar. At the top and middle, you'll find the default set of VR chat emotes for standing and seated states. Delete them all and drag your animation into the controller. Create a transition from prepare standing to your animation with the condition VRC emote equals 1. Then create a transition from your animation to blend out. If you want your emote to loop, Add the condition VRC emote not equals 1 and disable exit time. When adding more emotes, make sure they're all using different values for the VRC emote condition. In your expression menu component, add new controls for your emotes. Set their parameter to VRC emote and set the value to its corresponding value in the controller. If your emote is meant to loop, set the type to toggle. If not, set the type to button. Upload your avatar. Your avatar's emotes should now show up in your expression menu.